And can you tell me about the movement of the vehicle? Uh, it was moving fast then. Okay. Um, was there any movement into other lanes? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me about that. Um, the vehicle moved from the fast lane to the center lane at one point in time. And then from the center lane to the curb lane and then back to the fast lane. And then eventually exited the freeway, sir. Okay. So when you were following the vehicle, it moved from the fast lane to the center lane to the curb lane, back to the center lane, back to the slow lane. Did I get that right? Something like that, yes, sir. Okay. That, that'd be close. Okay, so the vehicle changed lanes. The vehicle did change lanes, yes, okay. sir. And then the vehicle exited the freeway. That is correct, sir. Okay. All right. Do you remember speaking with me during the interview a little while back? Um, yes, sir, I do. Okay. And you gave me honest answers during that interview? Uh, to the best of my recollection, yes, sir. Okay. Do you remember me asking you about the vehicle's movement during that interview? No, sir. I, I remember you asking the question, but I don't remember the exact particular, sir. Okay. Do you recall me asking, when you were following the vehicle, did it stay in the same lane the whole time? Uh, I know you asked numerous questions. That may have been one of them, yes, sir. Okay. Do you recall your response? No, sir. I do not. Okay. Permission of the court, Your Honor, I would like to play a portion of my interview with Sergeant Pavese where I asked him whether the vehicle, uh, when he was following it, it had stayed in the same lane the whole time. And Mr. Payne, any objection? No, Your Honor. Okay. That portion of the date, Mr. Payne. Um, just going backwards a little bit, okay. when you were following the pickup truck, did it stay in the same lane the whole yeah, time? Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, when, we, when we got closer to okay. that, Did you hear that, Sergeant? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. So when I asked you, did the pickup truck stay in the same lane the whole time, your answer was, yes, it did. That is correct. That is my answer. And just before I played that, when I was asking you about whether the pickup truck stayed in the same lane while you were following it, you told me that it moved from the fast lane to the middle lane, to the slow lane, to the middle lane, to the slow lane. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. Okay. So, which was it? When I was behind the vehicle, I was in the fast lane the whole time, and at some point in time, as I just mentioned to you, he did move from lane to lane, sir. Okay. So you don't find anything inconsistent with what you told me here in court and what we talked about? I could see where you would see that as an inconsistency, yes, sir. Okay. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.